Hello and welcome to Tiger Lily First Aid Training. In this video, we are going to discuss the correct first aid treatment for babies and children that have a fever. In particular, we are going to look at the different ways that fevers can affect children, the signs and symptoms to look out for, and the correct first aid treatment. Fevers are when a baby or child has a sustained high temperature in excess of 37 degrees. They are relatively common and are a child's natural reaction to fighting off illness. They usually last for approximately three to four days. So, how do we identify a fever? Well, there are a few key signs and symptoms to look out for. The baby has a raised temperature in excess of 37 degrees. They may be looking and feeling unwell. Initially, they may look pale before becoming hot and flushed. They may be complaining of a headache or other aches and pains. So, how should we treat a baby or child that we know or suspect has a fever? Well, we can separate the treatments into lists of do's and don'ts. Firstly, let's look at what you should do. If you are not the child's parents, call the parents as soon as possible, as by far the best place for the child to, re to recover is at home. If the child is under six months old, seek medical advice immediately by calling 111. You should also call 111 if the child's temperature is over 39 degrees. Provide the child with plenty of cold drinks and food if they are hungry. Always monitor the child closely and regularly. Give the child paracetamol or ibuprofen. If you are not the child's parent, the parents should have provided you or your setting with permission to provide these. Now let's look at what you should not do. Firstly, it is very important not to control the child's body temperature by over or underdressing them or using a flannel to cool them down as this may disrupt the child's natural body functions to fight the infection. It is also essential not to medicate a child under six months without professional medical advice, like that of a pharmacist. With ibuprofen and paracetamol, it is important not to combine or mix them unless specifically advised by a healthcare professional. And don't give ibuprofen to a child with asthma. Often with fever symptoms, it can be a difficult decision whether or not to seek further medical help as the child's condition can often fluctuate. However, we do recommend calling 999 immediately if the child or baby has the following signs or symptoms. A stiff neck. A rash that does not fade when a glass is pressed against it. A problem with bright light. A seizure. Unnaturally cold hands or feet. Pale, blotchy blue or gray skin a high-pitched cry, drowsiness and difficulty to wake, breathing difficulties, a bulging soft spot, which is only applicable to young babies. Assessing a child's temperature is the best way to determine whether or not they have a fever, and there are several ways you can do this. Initially, you might notice a raised temperature by touching their forehead, back or abdomen. Red cheeks or clammy skin are also signs of a raised temperature. Using a suitable thermometer is the most accurate measurement and for a baby we recommend using a digital thermometer under the armpit. For a child, a digital ear or mouth thermometer is very effective. Don't use a strip type thermometer as these can be inaccurate or mercury thermometers as they can shatter and are highly poisonous. So, to recap, fevers are evident when the child's temperature is over 37. Higher than 39 and you should seek urgent medical advice. Fevers are fairly common in babies and children, but they do need to be closely monitored. 
The baby or child should ideally be cared for in the comfort of their own home. If the child is under six months, seek urgent medical advice by calling 111. Provide the child with lots of cool drinks. Give paracetamol or ibuprofen, but do not combine them. And don't try to control their body temperature by under or overdressing them. Never hesitate to call 111 if you want further advice. That concludes our training video on the first aid treatment of fevers, and I hope you have found the information useful. Thanks for watching.